Mount Vernon leaders say that cracking down on illegally parked trucks is going to be a long haul effort. Our Ben Nandy joins us from, from a neighborhood where residents are going, uh, getting on to city council about trying to get a solution, Ben. Right, we're here on South Fulton Avenue. Neighbors around here are losing patience with all these trucks that park on their street for days at a time and are sometimes left running. Some people on city council say they could crack down on this, but doing that could create a whole new set of problems. They're right there. Melita Jones shows me photos of the long line of trucks that park on South Fulton Avenue. She's concerned about pollution because some trucks stay running all night, noise, and public safety. This photo shows a truck blocking a fire hydrant. We're all calling the police. We're all calling City Hall. So we'll continue to do make our phone calls and, and ask for help until the situation's rectified. This truck driver, who also lives here, tells me he obeys a city law that bans parking here between 2 and 6 a.m. He says several other drivers, many from the Bronx, just ditch their trucks here for days. These guys sit here every day. Mm -hmm. I move, about 10 o'clock I'll be out tonight and I'll be back and I'll go back and forth again. It's like I'm not here, but I get in trouble for what these guys do. I mean, a lot of we do need to pass legislation. At this week's city council meeting, some council members said they're working on legislation to strengthen parking laws. But they also said if the city were to remove a truck, they'd need to find a contractor with a truck that's capable of towing another truck. And if they were to manage to tow a truck, where would they put it? Their tow yard isn't big enough. Even if we pass this legislation next week, the, the trucks won't disappear. But trust that we're tr we're working on it, um, right? Because it is a, a twofold problem. It's a legislation issue and a uh, enforcement issue. I called some trucking companies whose trucks, according to neighbors, have been here a few days to get their response. I left messages and haven't heard back. Melita Jones is very optimistic and she's putting a lot of energy into this. She says she's already been hitting the phones uh, looking for a towing contractor to help them tow uh, trucks that are parked illegally and also trying to find space for the city to use to put those towed trucks. Until that is all sorted out, these neighbors are going to be stuck with these trucks. This whole process could take months. Ben Nandy, News 12.